everybody. So today I am bringing you a pre-point class. However, disclaimer, this is great to do if you're on point and want to build strength. This is great for advanced or professionals to do in their point shoes if you want. Feel free to do the bar combinations in your shoes, more advanced people. I will be doing it on flat for those of you that are not on point yet. If you're trying to work up to point, this is great to do. Basically, this class is going to build strength in your feet get you ready for point, get you ready for everything you need so that you can eventually get there. But as I said, great for people already on point, just put your shoes on for the combinations. So we're gonna start. I want you guys to get something to roll your feet out with. You can use a tennis ball, smaller ball is ideal, golf ball is great, um, or any sort of device you use to roll your feet out into TheraBand, because the first thing I wanna do is open up the arch muscles as well as do some strengthening with the TheraBand. So let's do that first. All right, so one of the most important things for point work is getting your arch muscles to cooperate, quite frankly. So we're just gonna take a second and get these feet going. We're not gonna spend a lot of time here, but get your little device, your ball, your golf ball, whatever, and we're just gonna start in the middle of the foot, getting that foot going. Hope everybody's doing well and you're staying safe. And I just want you to, on, at your own pace, we're not going to do anything definite, just roll your foot out. Move the ball around. If you find a tight spot, stay there for a second. Woo! Very common tight area, believe it or not, is the outside of the foot. So underneath the pinky toe, work down and around that foot. Ouch. <laughs> outside of the foot really interesting. You'll find some spots. That's why a smaller ball is good, dancers. Just kind of work it around and if you find a spot, stay there. Not going to feel great. But the whole point of this is that if your arch muscles are locked, they're not going to be able to strengthen, right? It's kind of like your hips. It's like your calves. If they're seized up, no matter what you do, they're not going to open to strengthen for point work. So once again, if you're already on point, <laughs> you're gonna feel it. So we're just gonna move around. You can do a little bit of this as well. Just, you know, get the arches going. Another great one, put the ball at the base of your heel. Uh-huh, yep. And if you don't have a ball, again, you can even like roll your foot out on the, on the bar. You know, get a dog toy. Mine's a dog toy. I've had it since I was an apprentice at City Ballet at 17. So it's been around the block, right? You can get those foot rollers, just anything you can find to get those arch muscles to open up. It's really, really important. You don't have to do it for long, that's enough. Let's go to the other side. So get that foot. It's also good to put it under the bunion, right? Get the bunion, just getting those arch muscles to be happy. I like to roll my feet out before class anyway. Um, I find that even on flat, it just, makes me feel better because the other thing is if your arches are tight, you're not going to be as grounded and you need to be really flat, healthy foot into the floor. Um, so that's another one. Just maybe think about start rolling your feet out more regularly, not just before point class, but before ballet class as well. Don't forget that outside. Holy moly, that's tight. Oh, the outside of the foot all the way down. Roll it out. You'll see what I mean, right? Totally. Woo, okay. Forgive me while I like seize up over here. <laughs> but you know, build up to full force. I'm leaning on the bar slightly. I'm not putting all my weight on it, right? Just kind of build up to it. Roll it out, get those arch muscles, get the base of the heel. Again, couple of minutes on each foot. It's really all you need, particularly if you do this regularly, right? And you'll find your tight spots. You'll find them. Okay, that's enough. All right, so now we're going to come down to the floor and do some TheraBand, and I'm going to keep this brief. I've got lengthier ones on here if you want to, like, really get into it. But this is going to be pretty brief, so you can do it a couple times a week. I feel like oftentimes what happens, dancers, is we, like, try and do an eight-hour-long TheraBand routine. You're never going to stick to that. Let's be honest. Let's keep it quick. So bend the knee, wrap the TheraBand around the ball of the foot. These are point-specific strengthening things. We've done this before. If you want to support it on your knee, great. We're going to curl the toes, just the toes, keeping the ankle where it is 10 times. Here we go. One and up. We've got to be able to point our shoe. That's what this is for. And four. Good. And five. And six. 
seven, eight, keep it tight, nine, you might have to tighten it, ten. Now we're going to curl, we're going to tap ten times, keeping it pointed. This is for those ligaments in your ankle. Tap and up, uh-huh, two, and up, and three, and uh, four, and uh, five, and uh, six. We're keeping the knee bent so the quad doesn't take over. Eight, nine, ten. Let's go down. So flex it down, curl it up five times. Two, and up, and three, and four, and five. Reverse. Curl it down, scoop the toes, flex it up. Two, and three, and four, and five. Good. Stretch it out. Simple point and flex. We're going to go 15 times. Down and up. Two, and three, and four, and five. Do you feel how the quad takes over a little bit here? Six, that's why we do the other ones too. Seven, you got to do both. Eight, you got it. Nine, ten, five more. Five, four, trois, deux, un. That was French. So, <laughs> yeah, that was in French. So, point the foot, just the toes. This is the hard one. 20, here we go. One, two, three, four. I know, five, six, seven, eight. Hang in there. 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, do one, holy moly, stretch it out. Yeah, that's the hard one. Again, part of point work is being able to point the last four inches of that shoe. That's one of the hardest things, so that's why we're doing this. Okay, switch it. You don't have to switch directions, I just am so you can see. That's it, that's all we're doing. Let's not overdo it and have you not stick to it. So bend the knee starting here. Here we go, 10 times, just the toes. Toes and up. Two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep it pointed, tap, and up. Keep the toes curled. Up, we're getting the ankle. Four, five, try not to grip in your hip flexor, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Whew. That was funky. Now we're going to do the, cur the flex it down, curl it up. Down and up. Five here. Picking up something with your foot. Maybe four. And five. Reverse. Curl and up. Two and up. Three. And four. And five. Great. Okay. All the way up. Fifteen. Here we go. Down and up. You got this. Two. And three. Try and sit up straight as well. Four. We want to work how we want to dance. Five. We don't want to dance like this. Six. Uh-huh. I'm assuming seven. Eight. Right there with you. Keep smiling. Nine. And ten. <laughs> Eleven. And twelve. And thirteen. Fourteen. 15. Good. Last thing. Here we go. Point the foot, just the toes. 20. You got this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, Here's the point, but uh, anyway, anyone? No. Here's where you can put on your point shoes if you so desire. However, I encourage you to maybe try this on flat as well. So we're going to start in first. We're going to do demi and point and demi and first. Four times each side articulating through the feet. And demi and point and demi and first and demi and point and demi. And first, same thing, Tondu. Demi, point, articulate 
through first and side and point da 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 to the back mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, to the side really isolating the feet then we're gonna do left demi and point and demi and first and demi and point and demi and first and demi and point and demi and first and demi point and demi and first finally we're gonna rock a little bit getting in the calves and three and four and five and six and seven and eight plie rolling up and find your balance maybe arms to fifth your choice and down so for these <laughs> then demi point and demi first four slow tawdies on qua right foot four slow tawdies on qua left foot eight rocks prances again if you're on point feel free to do it and then rolling up find the balance here we go first position use those feet we're just building strength six seven right foot one and two we're gonna be here a while so isolate, right? One, two, repeat each side. One, really find it, isolate, articulate, and two, good, on your right leg, slow, demi, point, hit the demi, come back. facing the bar since we're focusing on the feet. I'm not worried about all this. So we're gonna do tondu, pull back, keep it pointed. Pull back and three and four. Now demi. Tondu demi point and tondu demi point and tondu. I'll explain in a second. Close first. So this is isolating the ankle. It's articulating those outside muscles and it's articulating the metatarsals. Tondu pull back pointed, working just the ankle joint. Four of these and three and four. Now Tondu pull back demi, keeping the knee straight. Slight pull back, Tondu and first. So in the front, you're thinking about the little toe back and I'm keeping my foot pointed. I'm isolating this, I'm feeling this. It's really more of the ankle. We've done this before, right? Four of those. Now, if you're in point shoes, Put your weight on it in demi. If you're not in point shoes, we're gonna pull back again, but demi point now. See how I'm pulling back slightly? Ooh, you feel that on the outside of the ankle. Don't just demi out here, right? Pull back, do you feel that? I'm feeling it, right here, right? Keep it to the side. Demi pull it in slightly, keeping the knee straight. That's working those muscles you need for point. Then back. Back, pull in, four pointed, three, four. Out, demi pull, demi pull, demi pull, three of those first. On with the right, on qua with the left. Then we're just gonna find another balance. Work those calves, okay? Maybe come up if you really wanna challenge, close the eyes. Tondu, tondu on one. One pull back, we're gonna be here a while. Again, this is not a glamorous class. Then demi, demi, demi first. On qual right, on qual left, balance. Here we go. Six, seven, eight. One, keep it pointed. Two, three, four. And Tony, pull it back, demi. Demi, pull 
it in slightly, work those metatarsals and to the back. One heel in, pull it in. Good, long in the waist. Demi, Tondu, Demi. Pinky toes still off the floor. Last time, right leg one. Two, three, four. Good, Tondu, Two, doing great. Falls. I give this in point class as well. Again, if you're in shoes, great. If you're in the pre-point shoes as well, dancers, um, that's fantastic. Just don't go up because pre-point shoes you're not supposed to stand on. They're like a point shoe without the support, so that's fine. We're going to do wrap and fifth and wrap, potter should fall, and one and two, plie, on quoi. That's it. Wrap to fifth and wrap, potter should fall, and three, Tendus using the demi point we just did. To the back, coupe, fifth, coupe, out, and one, and two, plie, and fifth, and first, and fifth, and first, and fifth. Little susu, find your balance. Now we're on the other leg. Let's see, two, and three, and four, three tendus into plie, and a wrap. Articulate one, two, three, to the back, fifth, da, 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 one, two, three, twice, first to fifth, da, 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 susu, little balance, okay, we're just, again, speaking with your feet, one of the keys to getting on point quickly, y'all, is doing technique, normal technique class properly, so if you want to get on point fast, check how you're doing normal class, and it'll help you. Wrap it a fifth and a wrap it out, three to plie, front side back, first fifth, first fifth to sue, other side. Here we go. Six, seven, eight, you've got a lot of time. One, two, plie. One, two. Good, long in the waist. Scoop it back. First to fifth, one, two, sue, sue, find the balance quickly, yes, and left, two, shape those feet, one, two, three, nice, one, two, long in the hips, don't sink, Okey-dokey. So, just because this is pre-point doesn't mean you get out of the Catherine Morgan releves. Death by releve in flat shoes. So we're going to change it slightly. Once again, point work, do your thing. Plie releve, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight. Straight leg and up, and three, and four. Maybe no bar, seven, eight. Alternate, up, down, and up. Plie, up, straight, and up. Find your balance. Second position. Four plie releve. Da, 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 da. Four straight leg. Alternate it. Plie, straight, plie, 
straight, I lied. We're going to do six. Da -da -da. Quick balance, right leg or left leg, either one. We up, four, six, seven, eight, straight. Then alternate plie and straight three times. You only get two counts and then other side, okay? One of the absolute best things you can have for point work are strong calves. And doing a releve and a point shoe is a different muscle than in a flat shoe. So dancers on point, I encourage you to do flat releves as well because it's gonna work a, a slightly different part of your calf. So maybe do this once with shoes, once without, okay? But strong calves will save you in point work. For plie releve, for straight leg releve, six alternating balance. First, second, right, left. Here we go. Breathe. And down, up. Four of these. Baby test. Straight. Two. Three. Four. Alternate. Six. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Quick. You don't need a long balance. Down. Do this one. We've done this a lot. We're going to do degage first and degage first and one and two and three and four and out and land, press and land, press and land, up first. Side, side, four, out and land, out and land, out and land, up first. Too slow? Articulating four quick. Remember this, you put all your weight on it second time we're not gonna shift back. So the first time you're allowed to shift. Second time I want you to stay over here. Yeah, <laughs> it's totally different. Then shift. Too slow, four quick, second time, wait over here. And out first. Four sets, too slow, four quick. Three little thingies, keeping your weight. First time you're allowed to shift. It's like you're landing from the jump, just on one leg. Left, second time we don't shift. Stay over there. Up first. Here we go. Use those feet. Really articulate. Go. Two. One, two, three, four. Out, land, push.
We don't need to go crazy because honestly, like I said, dancers, the way to get on point is to work properly in your normal classes. Okay, this is just a little extra. Starting at first, plie to the right. Three times, just more releves out and in. And one, very simple, using the plie on your hip out in. Great for point work as well. You see how you can do this on point too? to like really build strength. I did a version of this in Harry Potter, but you wanna go a little bit slower. Ba bum five, six. Really think of like shaping, shaping. Like resist, resist. Show off those feet, okay? Just four sets. Here we go. Six. but it's not easy and it takes a while. I will often give this at the end of point classes in person. You might have seen the Royal Ballet do this, you might have seen the Australian Ballet do this, but this is solely for building strength and preventing injury. On parallel, one leg, all you're gonna do on a straight knee, four counts up, two and three and four, four counts down and two and three and four. Taking all four counts, takes a while, up and two and three, and four, and down, and six, and seven, and eight. We're not doing up and down. We're doing a slow four count up, and a slow four count down, right? Different way of working than the releves we already did. This is great for building stability and strength in your ankles and preventing injury. Eight on the right, eight on the left. Get comfy, here we go. Dancers on point, take your shoes off. Do this on flat. Absolutely. Everybody on flat. Here we go. Up, two, it's slow. And down. Six, seven, eight. Track the ankle straight. Three, four, and down. That's two. We got eight. And a up.
nice work, you guys. I tried to make this on the shorter side so it's more manageable to do. I would do this a couple times a week if you're really trying to get on point or if you really want to build strength, you're already there or you feel like, nah, my point work isn't good. Basic, basic, basic. Put in the time, put in the work, and it's going to get so much better, honestly. All those releves, all this stuff, even pros should do it. It's, it's really, really important to do. So really good work, you guys. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you have any other classes you might want. If you missed that Harry Potter point class, it's really hard. Work up to it. It's right there. You can click it to watch. Love you guys so very much, and I'll see you next time.